we're going to look at the testing of a three-phase motor. Before we can test it, obviously, we need to know how it works, how the windings are made up, and actually the different connections. So we're going to start with the connections. If we look on the terminal block of, of most three-phase motors, not all, because they use different letters or numbers even sometimes, we'll see that the terminal block is made up of six connections. On our motor, the connections are W1, U1 and V1, W2, U2 and V2. Each of the letters denotes the end of a motor winding. So a three-phase motor will have three windings. Obviously, for a good three-phase motor, they all need to be pretty much the same resistance. So that's the first part of the test, really, is one, identifying each end of the, the winding, and two, to check that the resistance is the same. Because if the resistances aren't the same, the motor's not going to run very balanced, and in the end it will get hot and burn out, and it's not going to give us the amount of energy that we would expect from it. The motor works in two different types of connection. Usually for a large motor, it will start in, in what we call a star connection. And once it's reached a sensible speed or a reasonable speed, it will then change to delta or mesh, we call it sometimes. First of all, we're going to look at connecting the motor in star. To connect the motor in star, we need, first of all, to identify the three windings. And then we need to connect W1, U1 and V1 as a single connection on three separate terminals and W2, U2 and V2 together. And as you can see on the board, we've now got three connections. You'll get L1 on there, L2 on there and L3 on there. That's the three different phases. And the ends of the windings here are connected together. When the motor starts, it will use less energy and won't run as fast. If we want to get more power out of a motor, we would connect it in delta. In delta, you get more energy, if you like, out of a motor than you would if it was in star. Um, the other thing, of course, is in delta, it will use more current. Um, that's why often we start them in star, because it starts up drawing less current, changes to delta, because once it starts running, it doesn't take so much energy to get the thing moving. So once it's moving, we can change it to delta. The energy goes up, but it's not drawing quite as much to get it moving. If we want to connect it into delta, what we need to do is end up with just three terminals, or three connections, rather than joining ends together in a terminal block. We can do it a different way, and we need to do it inside a starter. So the way it would work is W1 would be connected to U2 and that would possibly be line 1. It really doesn't matter, the line 1 or line 2 or line 3. As you know, with an electric motor, if you want it to turn a different direction, we just change L1 and L2 or L2 and L3 and it will reverse. So change any two lines and the motor will go the other way. We join U1 to V2 and we could connect that to L2, and then we join the remaining two, which would be V1 and W2 together, and connect that to L3. 